the Volvo 65 has three MX pedestals on board. Each pedestal can be linked to each winch, meaning that we can drive the pit, both primaries and the main sheet from any pedestal on the boat. So this is the view you don't get all the time, the inside of an MX pedestal. The Harkin MX pedestal is a chain driven pedestal system. We have two speeds within that chain system. So we have a one to one and a 2.7 to one speed up, which basically means that as the sailors turn the pedestal handles, they can put one rotation in and it will turn the winch 2.7 times. You activate that by pushing the button in on the side of the pedestal. And now they know with the reds out, you're in overdrive. From up on deck, we can decide exactly which winch we want to drive by the use of the buttons on the floor. By engaging this button here, I can drive the pit winch. By disengaging and engaging the next one here, I can drive the primary. So here we are in the dark recesses of the Volvo 65. Here you'll see the bottom of the pedestal that Mark was working on just a second ago above deck. Um, the other componentry here, we've got the carbon drive tube that goes through to the bevel pit box um, and the Xbox back here with the disconnects for the buttons you just saw. The best way to think about this system, the analogy in the real world, is to think about the differential in your car. The muscles on the grinders upstairs are the engine and these gearboxes are transferring all of that torque through these drive tubes and into the winches above. These disconnects here with the buttons, as Mark alluded to earlier, you can disconnect and connect into whatever winch you so desire. Um, they run basically simply on a clutch, on a sliding dog um, that disconnects the shaft from the spline. So here we have the base of the button that you saw Mark pushing earlier up on the deck. The way this works is it's simply an up and down motion on this carbon fork that moves a sleeve on a spline. So at the moment, you can see that that's engaged. When I turn this shaft, everything is connected. If I then manually push the fork, turn the shaft, nothing happens. That's how the disconnect works. Here we have the Xbox. The Xbox is basically the nerve centre of the underdeck drive system. This allows all the power from the aft two pedestals to be driven into the primary winches either side and forward to the pit. 